I am Dr. Vaikunth Raju, Pediatric Neurologist uh, practicing at Bangalore Child Neurology and Rehabilitation Center. I also visit Sir Sagar Hospital Jayanagar, Cloud9 Hospital Jayanagar and also Indira Gandhi Institute of Childhood Bangalore. Granuloma in the brain that can be detected with uh, MRI or CT scan of the brain. Usually they will present with the seizures, especially one side of the seizures and rarely they can have headache and also the weakness on one side of the body and also sometimes vomiting. So these can be picked up with uh, imaging like CT scan or MRI of the brain. So based on these MRI and CT scan findings and also other evaluation of the patient, you will get to know whether it is a tuberculoma that is a TB of the brain swelling or it can be due to neurocystic sarcosis that is a worm cyst, a worm egg in the brain. So these are the possibility based on various criteria we will decide whether it is a neurocystic sarcosis or tuberculoma of the brain. So if tuberculoma of the brain is there, you need to evaluate properly any other evidence of tuberculosis in the body and uh, that indicates a serious condition and you need to start medicine for tuberculosis and uh, they need to take minimum one year of medicine for a TB, then usually they will cure. In case of neurocystic sarcosis, that is worm egg in the brain, that can be due to many reasons because of uh, bad environmental hygiene and uh, if they eat without washing their hands, they can, there is a chance of contamination, they can spread to brain also. This also can cause uh, pits and also weakness and headache and vomiting also. And usually this can be cured uh, with uh, adequate uh, medications. Uh, sometimes you need to give medication for warm eggs and usually it will be clear most of the time. So sometimes it can leave a scar on the brain also where they can get uh, convulsions or pits. So you should be treated uh, pits or convulsions appropriately for uh, 2 to 3 years of time.